turning the word dragon into a chord progression. And the way I'm doing that is I'm setting this to D Phrygian and I'm using the chord mode, uh, setting it to six, bumping up the 130 BPM so it's a little bit faster in upbeat, dragging it into my DAW. And once I have that idea, I just duplicated it over four times and added some bass, uh, cutting off the beginning of the first bass line to give it more of a punch, creating a melody and a counter melody. <laughs> idea I'm done with the session I'm gonna come back to it later but I have so many small ideas like this what I want to do is take all those audio files and export them I'm gonna put them into a new folder called dragon track and uh, when I do that and I export it they're all gonna have the same name so I'm gonna worry about renaming those in a minute but first thing I want to do uh, after the audio is export each of those MIDI files so I'm doing that one at a time that's what Logic Pro requires and as I do that I'm renaming them in real time um, finally, once I've exported all these MIDI and audio files into the local folder, I'm going to navigate over to my Explorer, drag all of them directly into the audio cipher card I created. And here now I can rename the WAV file, so this one's going to be called Chords. Um, I can also rename another one Bass. And so now that we have everything named in terms of our files, we're going to add meta tags. So I'm adding in, in this case, video game, because it's like a video game type beat. Um, for the mood, I was thinking something like battle. Maybe this is like a dragon battle scene. Um, we'll also create another word, heroic. Um, so that's kind of the mood. And then it's a chiptune type beat. So we'll just go ahead and select that. I already have that in my uh, meta tag. It's 130 BPM. Uh, the scale was D and Phrygian, so we're going to add that as well. And that's it. We're actually done. So now uh, this is permanently saved inside of my MIDI vault, and I can go back and grab either the MIDI or the audio files at any time, which is awesome. Um, now I'm going to give it three stars because it's not finished and it's not necessarily my best work, but uh, I can come back to this at any time. And the last thing I want to show you, as you can see, is I'm able to drag the audio and MIDI files directly back into the <laughs>